All right, let's kick it up a notch and talk about compound inequalities, which is basically two inequalities written as one. I think it would be best to go ahead and graph this, see what it looks like, and then talk about this as one inequality. So if we had the two inequalities x greater than negative 3 and x less than 4, it has to fit both of those inequalities. It can't break either one of those rules. So I'm going to go ahead and put down some numbers here. Since, since we have negative 3 and 4, numbers on either side of 0, I'm going to start with 0 in the middle and then break this up so that 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are on the right. Try to make those equally spaced. You can see I had some difficulty with that. And then negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and negative 4 and I went beyond negative 3 and 4 by 1 on each side just to show that this doesn't stop okay but I want to graph just greater than negative 3 so remember this is going to be an open circle because it does not include negative 3 negative 3 is not greater than negative 3 that is a false statement but I want to shade to the right anything that's bigger so I'm just going to draw a small arrow just to kind of help me see this and then for x x is sorry then for x less than 4 I want to think of a closed circle at 4 so filled in because 4 is equal to 4 it does make that true but everything is less than so I want to shade a little bit this way now again it has to be true for both it cannot make either one of these statements false so therefore when I've got greater than negative 3 and less than 4, you can kind of see that it's going to shade in between these two numbers for both of these. So green and red will make our Christmas number line. Okay, so that's the graph. Those are the answers. Now let's see if we can write this as one inequality. Well, the smallest number we have is negative 3. So I'm going to write that there. And if I was to flip this whole thing around, I could put the... Uh, less than symbol and then x. So I switch the variable and number and I also switch the sign. Now over here, 4 is the biggest number, so I kind of want that over on that side. So if I went ahead and wrote this as x and less than or equal to 4, that wouldn't have to change because that's true. It's less than 4. Now watch the magic here. Let me slide these inequalities together and look at that. Instead of using the x twice, I can use it just once and I can rewrite this as a compound inequality so that negative 3 is less than x, which means it's really bigger than x, but it's also less than 4, so it's written in the correct way. Okay, so there's a compound inequality. Let's take a look at another one of these. So if we have x less than 2 or x greater than 5, how can this be graphed? And I did a little uh, recording magic there that did say and. I did switch at the or. So if you had that written down previously, I apologize. It should be an or statement, and I'll explain why. So again, we have 2 and 5, kind of like 3, 4 in the middle there. So I'm going to go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 this way. And on the other side, 2, 1, 0, negative 1. Okay, so I've got both of the numbers that I'm looking for, and i got to remember my circles. Whenever it's equal to, it's filled in, because 2 is an answer to this. 2 is less than or equal to 2. Which way is less than 2, though? Less than is this way. Just a short one. Don't go too crazy right now with your shading. And then what about x being greater than 5? Well, greater than 5 is an open circle does not include 5. 5 is not greater than 5. It's equal to. But greater is to the right. So I would think about going to the right. So shading this way. And so now the shading actually is in opposite directions. And this would be okay because of the word or. Or allows this to be true or the other to be true. So I can shade it this way or I can shade it the other way. Okay? Now, a compound inequality for this doesn't really make sense because the answers aren't between 2 and 5. They're on the outside of 2 and 5. So writing what we just did doesn't really make a lot of sense for this. It would be better just to leave it as this inequality with the, war, with the word or in between.